Hey guys, this is my first upload on my channel. Okay, uh, out here at Karingai Chase. Decided to go fishing during lockdown and uh, to see how we go. It's the first week of spring, and I thought, why not? Let's get out of the house and cast the rod out. So today I'm using two rods. Uh, this one here is actually the first rod I ever bought. It's still going strong with me, to be honest. I had this for probably seven, seven plus years. It's a it's a basic Jarvis Walker. Um, just thought I'd get my, my first rod to just get it cheap and see how we go. It's got a thirty pound braid. Uh, sorry, thirty pound line. Um, it's, I usually use I used to use this for a uh, Jewfish line rod. And I used to go fishing on the tinny with my uh, old man and my granddad. So, couldn't be bothered changing the line to be honest. Uh, I've got a size 3 sinker and a size 1 hook. It's a weird setup, I know, but hey, it catches fish at the end of the day. It's pretty, pretty much a lucky rod to be honest. <laughs> and then I've got a Daiwa Luxel. Um, it's got a, can't remember the real size, but I think it was a two, two and a half thousand. Um, it's got an eight pound braided line. I usually use this for plastic lures or, yeah, plastic lures and hard bodies, but I decided to use this as a bait rod as well. I'm, I am using chicken and I decided to put some S-Factor on it just to see how it goes as well, to be honest. I don't even know what time it is currently, but... Uh, I've been here for probably five to ten minutes. I've had a couple of nibbles. Pretty much fishing ever since I was little. Um, didn't really start getting into it a lot more. Probably seven years ago, just to get out of the house and you know escape it was good meditation for me. Still is to be honest. Um, but yeah, it's uh, started taking it a bit more seriously. Like I said, probably in the past six months or so, decided to try out these plastic. Lure, lure fishing really um, not using it today of course but I've gotten really lucky with this rod actually uh, did I my first PB sorry my PB on this rod first cast no joke I was up in Nelson's Bay just for like a little getaway um, before the lockdown of course and uh, yeah I casted this bad boy out with a uh, atomic hard body lure no joke Casted it out, started reeling it in, and I just had a good bite. And look, another bite there too. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a 38 centimeter broom. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Feels like a brim. Nothing that big to be honest, but uh, you know, a fish is a fish. Oh, actually, and this is a quite a spectacular. Hold on, let me get this ready for you guys. And it's one of these bad boys. Definitely can't say no to a snapper. <laughs> that is a gorgeous color. Look at the blue spots on that. Yeah, it's actually my first time fishing in this rocks here too. Um, just wanted to test test out the waters really. There we go. Again, of course it's not legal. I'll probably say it's around 10 centimeters. But that is a gorgeous fish. If I do say so myself. I'm gonna take a photo of this and then uh, cast it back in. Be back. Well, uh, that's the end of the fishing trip, guys. Uh, I did release the snapper as well, of course. Uh, again, it was undersized, of course. Uh, it was more like a catch and release day as well, unless I did catch, you know, a target species that I was after. 
which would have been a definitely a flathead or a, you know at least a legal size brim just for just for dinner really um, but yeah that's that's pretty much that's all she wrote really so I do I just left five minutes after I uh, finished fishing really after that first snapper I saw a family of four they were just wandering around looking for a spot to fish off the rocks um, and I knew for a fact that I've uh, had the best spot <laughs> so I just said hey if you guys want you can guys can uh, come have a seat I did give my uh, bait as, to them as well I just thought you know I caught my fish I may as well go home but again pretty much this basic of this channel is to you know show you my trick uh, fishing adventure um, and you know gaining more knowledge off the other anglers or hopefully I can teach someone else as well um, I will be trying to pick up everything else from here um, it's, this isn't just a basic uh, you know video of me just fishing around it'll be just, just different videos later on and you know it might be a catch and cook or you know uh, kayak fishing uh, that's maybe later on down the track it's just due to COVID it's been a bit a bit tough for me for the past two years uh, you know, I've been past two years in Sydney, um, especially now we do have a major lockdown at the moment. Uh, but luckily, I am in the 5k radius to the spot I fish <laughs> at the moment, which is good. I, t I usually do go to Parramatta River as a you know safe point, um, which thank goodness, due to lockdown, it ha this it has taken me. Well, how can I say it? Uh, this definitely has been a better option to, to you know, I just rely at Parramatta, on Parramatta Rivers just because I've been fishing there pretty much my whole life as well. Or, you know, fishing near the Lacuna Bay or Hawkesbury River. Um, you know, with also fishing with the family when I was younger. So it, it does take me out of my comfort zone, which is good. Um, plus, um, I am lure fishing, so it does help me out. So hopefully, you guys, you guys get to see more adventures from me. Uh, you know, again, please like and subscribe for more content. Of course, uh, eventually I will stop using the iPhone as a camera. And uh, sorry for the, all the shakes of the phone as well. Um, it's not the best thing to use as you can tell my stand is pretty stuffed up but yeah hopefully you guys enjoy the videos um, again like and subscribe uh, I will love to show my journey from here